Welcome. Today we are going to talk about blue sky statistics. We all have used SPSS, uh, but sometimes we do not get access to SPSS or if you want to purchase it, it's very costly. Now there is a very powerful alternative to SPSS or SAS. Now this is a completely free software that is based on R. And it provides a familiar powerful user interface available in mainstream statistical applications. Now here is the website from where you can download Blue Sky Statistics. You have to just go to blueskystatistics.com and on the home page you will have access to the Blue Sky Statistics guide or even in the downloads page. So just go to the downloads page and download the stable release whatever version or uh, you want to download as based on the specs of your computer and here are the releases de details and here is the user guide so once you download it's just plain and simple to install and let's see how it works will have an icon on the desktop you can double click it to open it or you can search in the bar here Now similar to SPSS, you will have an output window. And you will have this window here, just like SPSS, where you can define your data and your or enter your data and define your variables. So it gives you a list of variables just by default. So you can change them obviously. And here is your data window where you can enter data just like you do in Excel or SPSS. And it has got almost all the options that you see in SPSS. The basics or even the moderate level analysis, it can all take care of it. Even the advanced level analysis as well. So we'll have this file option from where you can define your new data set. You can have the new output window. You can open the data set. Okay. The interesting thing is, you can open SPSS file directly into this software, IBM SPSS, even if it's Excel file or XLS file, CSV file, any other format, you can uh, open R data set as well, you can open SAS data, text file and others. Now, you've got all these options, you, can, you want k-means, cross-tabs, summaries, time series, or other options in the analysis window you've got all the options non-parametric test cluster analysis contingency tables correlation analysis factor analysis you can have summary analysis frequencies means and everything you can have different tables you can have time series analysis variance analysis you can do data transformation standardization recode the data if you want you can sort the data set, split the data set, any fun functions that you have seen in SPSS, you can easily do them in Blue Sky Statistics. You can have distribution, you can have graphics, different plots, different graphs, you can do model fitting as, as well, model testing, model statistics, different options. Now how do you define variables? So let's say my first variable is SL1. SL2, SL3, SL4, SL5, SL6. But now if you want to add more variables, what you need to do is just right click it and insert what type of variable you want to add. Do you want to add a categorical factor variable? Do you want to add a numeric variable do you want to add a factor variable so let's say I want to add a numeric variable right at the end of the SL6 so I press this 
and I've got a numerical variable. But these are numeric variables as well. So if you want to transform them, just right click and make numeric. So it will be changed into numeric. Make numeric. Make numeric. Make numeric. Make numeric. Numeric. Okay, if you changed or if you added a new variable, a numeric variable, by default the data type is numeric. So you can change it. Make numeric. So it will be double. The data class is now numeric. You do not need to define values because that's only for factor variable. The measure is scale. Let's say this is SL7. So this is how you can define your variables. Let's add a factor variable. So you cannot add a factor level because this is a scale variable. Right click, insert factor variable at the end. So let's say gender. And now you can define the values. But you have to define values separated by commas like male, comma, female. And you press OK. Now if you press it again, male, female are the new labels and these are the numeric levels. Press OK. Now you want to enter the data, just go to the data tab and by default it has got 30 rows. Let's say SL1 is 1, SL2 is 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, to and now this is your gender so let's say male similarly you can add data for the rest of the respondents as well so this is how you can define your data in blue sky statistics and, and then enter the data you can rename it here gender and in the data tab it's renamed as gender so this was this sign shows that this is a factor level variable while these are numeric variables scale level variables so this is how you can define your data and then enter data in blue sky statistics now i've got some sample data here that i can use so just go to let's say file open and i've got this sav file here that i can use press open and it will ask you that do you want to trail or trim the trailing spaces well okay i don't need to now here is a data set that has already been defined and data has already been entered and if you go to the variables view here is the variable view with all the data, the variables, the data types and everything. Now let's say I want to analyze it for certain summary statistics. So I'll go to analysis, summary analysis and I want frequency tables. I want frequency table for country. So let me do it again. Analyze, summary analysis, frequency table. I want to know the details about countries so you select country and add it in here press OK and it will give you just as you get in SPSS in the output window a table so the data set had 43 variables one was nominal the other there were 774 observations there were 278 observations from China, 315 from Pakistan, 181 from Italy. Now here is the percentage, cumulative percentage, valid percentage and valid cumulative percentage. You can easily copy this or export it into Excel, Word, PDF, copy it to clipboard or even you can delete it from your output window. So this is uh, a basic introduction. Now this is uh, the R syntax but we'll come back to, uh, about, we'll talk about it later. So this is how you can download Blue Sky Statistics, define the data, enter the data and then open the file in Blue Sky Statistics and do some summary analysis. We have more videos coming up so stay tuned. Thank you very much.